Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to Shipyard Champions, the weekly challenges where I take on other content creators. Today we have a bit of a challenge where I have to design a class of my fleet. I can build a battleship, a heavy cruiser or a light cruiser, or torpedo boats even. Um, whatever class I do not pick gets auto-designed, so I'm going to have to pick carefully. As for my version, I'm running this with the Brother Monroe's Dreadnought Improvement Project, which means that my stats and my ship designs might be somewhat different from yours. Now, um, the objective is build a ship, a country any, enemy country any, weather and time of day any, engagement range, Admiral's Choice. So I can fight at whatever range I choose, so let's pick 10 kilometers. Otherwise, we might end up immediately into enemy torpedo range. As for the nation, um, yeah, why not go for the Spanish? I generally don't pick the Spanish. The Spanish versus the Russians. So, I am going to be designing a ship, and it's going to be the battleship class. Because generally, battleships, I'd say, have the biggest impact on the battle. From what I was able to tell, there are no limitations on the designs. So, I can just make this as big, small, fat, strong, whatever as possible. Um, in just boilers, we haven't invented oil yet. No, this is just going to be the, the fairly boilerplate survivability for this ship. So for spacious quarters, because they might need that. It is Brother Monroe's mod, which means it is entirely likely that ships take hit after hit after hit and don't particularly care much about um, fires. So getting burned up is really not that much of a concern. And as such, crew loss is a bigger concern because generally you tend to burn up before you lose crew. In this case, though, it might be the other way around. Guns. Mark 3, Mark 3, Mark 3, Mark 1. Nope. 12 inch it is. Okay, seeing as I'm not sure exactly what the enemy is going to be working with beyond them having five battleships, I'm going to go with, um, let's say, the, well... Yeah, I can have casemates as well, right? Like seven inchers? Yeah. Let's pack this thing to the gills with guns. The problem is that it's already getting a little heavy. It's already getting a little heavy. Displacement's maxed out at 29,000 tons. I can slide the range down a bit, but after equipping this thing with additional gear, well, I'm going to be approaching the limits of my capabilities already. Displacement limit's only 1,500 tons more. That's with a fairly limited armament, really. The 7-inch guns should be sufficient to deal with most of the smaller trash. But I would like a couple of 5-inchers to help me deal with the torpedo boats. <clears throat> I generally don't trust torpedo boats to get taken up by 7-inchers because they only fire once every 12 seconds. Um, as for their HE type, let's go for the biggest HE we get. And that should be able to pen and destroy any torpedo boat almost immediately. Push this back a bit. Shell type for AP. Let's go for capped. Picric acid. I do have to be careful not to blow myself up. 28% chance to blow up is a bit high. And is that due to picric acid, perhaps? Yeah, that's better. 16%. 17%. There's not a whole lot more you can do about that in this day and age. Because flash fires just tend to happen. Like it or not. Let's improve the steering if we can. Make it an unbalanced rudder so we can dodge torpedoes. And as for the additional displacement. Let's see. I can pen... I can pen what? 10,000 meter range. I can pen 7 inches of armor. <laughs> that can't be right. That can't be right. We've got an armor quality of about 75%, so this is fine. What are we looking at now? Yeah, I can pen about 12 inches of armor. So let's say I want to have 13 inches of armor protecting the ship. Uh, five on the bow, five on the stern. Three on the superstructure. I want to have an inner belt of five inches. Inner deck is not that important. Side in, yeah, this should be sufficient. 17.5. Barbette. Uh, 16 inches. And then these guns, a bit more protection. These guys are very well protected. Go for 12. And we are pretty much maxed out on everything here. As for these secondaries, HE firing should be sufficient. I can give them like increased HE, so we also get some AP. We're slightly over. There we go. 
Okay, now I get to reveal a twist. Now that I've built my ship. What's the twist? Well, this is unfortunate. Go back to the custom battle screen and swap the countries over. Head over to the enemy mode and make sure that they are using your design. You may now go back to your new country and design a new class of ships, but it may not be the same class that you've already designed. For every one of your ships you originally designed, you manage to sink your earn points. Okay, fine. We'll get to the earning points later. So I need to defeat, essentially, my own Lanfranco-class ship. Well, that's going to be unfortunate. So I need to now be the Russians. And they're going to be the Spanish. Mm-hmm. I see how it is. Okay, them. Yeah, they're going to be using the Lanfranco. Right. I now need to design my own ship, but it cannot be the battleship. It has to be something else. Um, okay. I designed that battleship to be pretty damn good. I'm going to have to hope that the AI designs an okay battleship with auto design. And I have to design the heavy, the light, or the torpedo boat. Okay, um, it's going to be a heavy cruiser torpedo boat. Let's just <laughs> let's just call it what it is. Can I make these things fast? 21 knots. I cannot make them fast. 18 knots, 19 knots. Whatever. That's the official speed limit, but I don't care about the official speed limit. I just need to make sure that I get a bit more juice out of this ship. Give them a sizable torpedo launcher and fast torpedoes. And I'm now looking at a torpedo speed of... 36 knots, but only a range of two and a half. Yikes. Let's just make it five kilometers then, because hydrophones have not been invented. And as such, the enemy is not that likely to actually spot the torpedo that's coming their way. Now, getting these things out there is going to be a challenge, because I don't think I can afford this level of speed. Increase displacement. I can go to what? 13,000 tons. Fine. Uh, reduce the beam. A sleeker ship goes through the water much easier. And might actually be able to deliver that hammer blow with the torpedoes that I want. I'm not sure if the ship is going to be very good against anything else, really. Like maybe add a 9 inch to the bow, one to the stern. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ship's overweight already. On top of that, the ship will have no secondaries. She'll have no capability of range finding. She'll, well, she'll likely blow up with a 34% chance to detonate. 13% chance. 12-4. Uh, give me capitalistic shells. This is going to be unfortunate. It is possible that my torpedo boats will be capable. I just don't know. I don't know how capable they'll be, and that's kind of where this whole thing flies off the rails. I don't know what to expect from the AI. Although it is a Brother Monroe's mod, so it's entirely possible that these designs won't be terrible the way that the AI normally does. Okay, so I'm also going to have to take down their ships, their smaller things. Let's put some casemates there. I think the rest of it's going to go into armor. You can actually put a 10-inch main belt on this. That's impressive. Uh, give me that... <laughs> give me an 11-inch main belt. <laughs> Why not? Uh, aft belt doesn't have to be that impressive, like 5 or 6 inches, because I'm just trying to get into range. And if I have a well-deflected bow, I should be able to do that. This is fine. This is fine. I don't care about the range much. It's too much that I currently have. I just need to have a capability of getting into range. And I think the bow belt's more important than the stern. Although once I get there, of course, I'm going to have to try and turn around and still be able to get out. Which could be a bit of a problem. Give me heavy shells. Which will allow these things to pen the enemy ship at about... Well... I can pen about 10 and a half inches of armor at two and a half kilometer range, which is not that much. 
If I put 11 inches on this, it's probably going to be way too heavy. Yeah, by a lot. Will that even turn? <laughs> Won't even turn. Come on. Is the 9 incher even going to... Yeah, the 9 incher will turn. Okay, fine. Uh, can we do this? Ship's gonna say no. 22 knots? There we go. It's a weird, weird boat. Gonna supersize the 11 incher? Like I'm making an 11.9? That should definitely hold a pen. Holy shit, 17 inches of armor. It's at suicide range. I hope not to get there, but I might need to. Even with this thing on the stern, my bow is still too heavy. Probably because of all that armor. Let's put a bit more armor on the stern. Maybe we can go to six. Five and change. Five and change. Okay. So here we go. This is the ship that we have. That's going to have to sink the entire enemy fleet. Yeah, yeah, and now the game is going to go and protest that I cannot design that. Fine, auto design this. And please make it somewhat feasible. This is n not what I have in mind. I don't need a ton of secondaries. I am dealing with my own battle. What the fuck is this? 12.7 inch guns. Well, they do have good pen. Maximum bulkheads, cramped quarters with... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what? You thought two inches of belt armor was sufficient? <laughs> okay, fine. Fine. Let's go sink the enemy. Okay, here goes. The good news is, I can score quite a lot of points. Because the scoring is... For every one of the ships you originally designed, you managed to sink, you earn points. I designed the battleship, and if I sink an enemy battleship, so basically if I sink my own battleship design, I earn 10 points. That is quite a lot. The heavy cruisers will earn you 6 points, the light cruiser will earn you 3 points, and the torpedo boats 1 point. But I didn't design any of those, so I'm strictly targeting the battleships. The way, however, that I need to target these battleships is going to be up to me. So, what I can try and do is just engage the battleships before I engage the rest, or I first take out all the escorts and then see if I can get at the battleships. That might be an easier way to go about it. Um, as for formations... Oh, bloody hell, they're all a big mess. Put the lights into one big group. The TBs are on all sorts of directions. Okay, fine. Uh, don't torp anything. Don't torp anything. You guys got torps? Many? Not many. Reduced? Bloody hell. Okay, they got a reduced complement of torpedoes. You guys got torps as well. I know that because I put them on there. The battleships. Uh, they do not come with torpedoes. Isn't that lovely? Okay, uh, let's avoid all the collisions. Let's get out there. Now, normally this is when I study the enemy battleship, but I already know exactly what that's going to look like. So that shouldn't exactly come at a whole surprise. What I am questioning is how much pen the enemy battleship's going to have against mine. Zero. Okay, but that is at maximum range. I'm going to slow down a bit, and we're going to target their escorts so that my other ships can close in. So target the heavy cruiser. You target the next, you target the next, you target the next, and you target this lone guy over here. And now every ship has its own target. This way, ideally, we'll be able to start eliminating these ships without having our own shells interfere with the, the gun splashes too much. Uh, the CLs... Yeah, they're not going to be terribly useful yet. There's no penalty for losing ships. This can be very useful. Because this means I don't have to worry about it as much. What hurt me? What did you even hit? You hit a battleship or what? 
Oh, I think he hit a cruiser. Yeah, the Admiral Makarov. Already flooding. Lovely. Alright, boys. Let's go and work over this ship right here. The torpedo boats, I want you guys out of the action for now. We are not fighting yet. Too dangerous. There's way too many escorts and not enough opportunity to have at their ships yet. Especially their battleships. Too big of a threat. Now, my guns are in awful positions. So, I'm going to have to turn all the battleships broadside. Exposing that two-inch belt that the AI has put onto these ships in all of their limited wisdom. Uh, what are we facing here? Are you heavy? You're a heavy cruiser. I have torpedoes, but they're not strictly meant for you. Nevertheless, if I don't use them now, I might use never use them. Oh, hello. I knew that was there. Okay, off. These heavies. Turn and engage this. Now keep in mind, enemy ships do not have hydrophones, so it's entirely possible that they are not aware of the torpedoes that are coming their way. I would much prefer it that way. What are these things packing? 7 inch guns and a lot of 4s. Okay, so not that big of a deal. This thing, however, is awful close. And launching torpedoes, which the Dimitri is never going to dodge. What? Oh, it's a dud. Yeah, it's this era. <clears throat> I think San Tomas is just completely safe because my torpedoes have either changed course or were very poorly aimed. I'm getting a lot of overpens on this torpedo boat. This thing should have been dead already. Got way too close for my taste. Alright, battleships. There, that's one of our escorts dead. Unfortunately, there's no points. The cruiser's taking a lot of fire. Are you guys flinging HE? That might not be a bad call. What sort of armor you got? Five and a half inches. Pretty much all over, except for the deck. Wait, wait, what? That's not the port. No. No, 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 no. Who killed you? You were not supposed to be dead. Well, I guess my 5 inches are working as intended. It's just a shame that they're not part of my fleet. Alright, Donskoy, Europa. Let's try and turn around. And send some torpedoes into these ships. Uh, torps on. Engage this. Heavy cruisers this way, light cruisers this way. We're far too close together. And the battleships are passing behind the heavy cruisers and the lights. So they might actually pick up some smoke cover to some extent. We're just ricocheting off of this thing, aren't we? No, we're not even hitting it. Okay, at this point, this guy has a very high ricochet angle. So we're going to switch to high explosive. Especially as these high explosive shells definitely have potential. There's the San Tomas again. You'd think. There we go. 7700. Once you actually do get through, it really makes an impression. Ow. Dmitry Donskoy is taking an awful lot of damage here. These guys are definitely capable of penning bow and stern. I mean, everybody with an AK-47 can pen this battleship. Pretty much. Come on, we need to get rid of these ships, because there's a lot of torpedoes aboard that. They have taken damage, so they're not, not fast anymore, but they're still pretty risky. Uh, your chances of getting out of here are... Essentially zero in your torpedo range is five. Yeah. <clears throat> I designed my ships to be capable of defeating torpedo boats. And that's exactly what they're doing. 
They're doing exactly what I was telling them to do. Guys, HE, every one of you. Oh, oh. Oh, the Donskoy isn't even the leader anymore. This is uh, not great. That was a big hit. What, 12k? 11 2. Okay, that's the Rapido dead. Donskoy, I need you to leave the division and try to continue on your turn. Battleships. Next. You guys got 7 inch guns for secondaries and a random 8.3. Maybe I can use that? That torpedo shouldn't be a risk to the Donskoy because it's already been so badly damaged it's not fast anymore. Europa over here might be capable of torpedoing the San Tomas as it sails past. But that kind of works both ways. Which is a bit of a problem. Somebody launched a torp. No. Weird, that sounded exactly like a torpedo launch. There, torpedo away. Green feels a bit stuttery today. Okay, you're not dodging this, my friend. How much blister you got? Anti-flood 2. Anti-torp 2. Yeah, still, it's an 18-inch torpedo on the 1905 warship. Yep, and it does that. That's what I needed to do. Dmitry Donskoy is still attracting a lot of fire. Which works, because this ship is doomed anyway. So it's not that big of a deal. Decent damage there. Ship's badly flooding. There goes the San Tomas. That's their second CA dead. Uh, Europa, I need you to start targeting something else. Go for the light cruisers. There goes the Dimitri, as expected. Right on schedule, if you will. <laughs> and she's still taking torpedoes. This is a weird design for a battleship. Like, how am I supposed to use this many secondaries? Do they actually do anything? Barely. And that's against heavy cruisers and light cruisers. That's what I've been fighting. And they seem to be largely incapable of doing anything. Oh well. Make do with what the materials you've been provided. Uh, that ship's not directly a threat. This one is! We got a torpedo incoming, most likely going for the Arakangul. I'm not so sure I can speed away from that. That's gonna hurt. Concepcion and Guadalquivir are down. That happened quickly. Yeah, you took a torp. Did you just destroy that ship? Very quickly or something. What happened to you? Yeah, the heavy cruiser happened to you. With 10,000 damage. That's the way to go about it. Um, if our port side torpedo launchers are going to be ready anytime soon, we can actually launch an attack against the San Philippe. Which would be, potentially, our first bit of damage against their battleships. As for engaging those lights, let's just prioritize everything with the, the let's say the 11-incher. Hold on, can't that 11-incher pen this? Yeah, start shooting this. Use armor piercing. That heavy cruiser needs to go because that's their last one. Kill it. That's the way to go about it. Beautiful. Okay, these CLs. What do you got? Yeah, they are picking the CLs for targets. That's good. Miss. Where's the rest of my torpedo boats at? 27 clicks out. Excellent. <clears throat> Kept them out of harm's way. And now that the escorts are dead, I can pull them back in. And being torpedo boats, 26 knots, they'll be here pretty quick. Torpedoes away. Singular from Europa. I'm not sure if both torpedo tubes are even still functional. But we're going to get some damage in. Right on her bow. And it's a dud. 1905. Never fails to disappoint. Alright, we're getting some damage in on the light cruiser there. The Guadalquivir was already dead. Target this. Oh! 
Who's doing that? That's the 19-inch gun. Sorry, the 11-inch gun on the heavy cruiser. Dealing substantial damage here. Increase the full speed. Please dud. Yep, it never fails to disappoint. This fucking era. Good lord. Okay. So be it. Come on. Push against these glide cruisers. That's another one dead. The Valiente next. That last torpedo boat came in from over there. Yep. Um, in Europa, at this point, you should have your stern torpedo once you're ready. Is it still... Oh, it's dead. Okay, yeah, that kind of explains it. Um, we've done some damage to this battleship, but the rest of it's kind of getting ignored. The rest of the heavy cruisers are way out of the area. This is definitely not my best managed fight. A bit distracted today, I'm sorry. There we go. Good hit, good hit. There goes the Europa. What are all these torpedo boats even targeting? What sort of range you got? Five clicks. There's nothing within five clicks, except for the Europa. Okay. So I guess they were trying to target the already sinking cruiser. Works for me, because most of these guys only have two torpedo launchers left. Only two tubes. So maybe I can make that work. There's fewer torpedoes for me to worry about. Works for the battleships. Uh, target the Berenguela. And then, these battleships are splitting themselves off. There's three of them in the back. There's two of them at the front. I just need to get rid of this. Because this is torpedo hazard. There's the damage. Yeah, they're going to be going down very, very quickly now. Come on. That ought to do it. Good. Unfortunately, Archangel Gavril, already badly damaged, seems to be the targeting point of the enemy fleet. So that's a little unfortunate. More unfortunate for the enemy fleet is the arrival of the light cruisers. Which I had absolutely not planned. But I will gladly exploit. Alright, you're Division 5. Right? Yes. <clears throat> division, sorry, Division 4. Start torpedoing the Constante. Preferably with torpedoes that are not duds. Because those are generally very disappointing. Uh, so, f no, the Sila is coming under a lot of fire now. 5% chance to pen, but I don't trust that. I think I can actually do some damage here. Destroyed the main tower, no less. Ow. Let me guess. Bow. Main belt. Okay. Right through the main belt. Not taking prisoners, are you? Switch to the Victoria for targeting. The heavy cruisers are 13 clicks out, and the rest of the torpedo boats are 12 clicks out. Okay, make your way over. Constante is flooding. But my ships tend to not care about flooding that much. Because I happen to protect them against flooding most of the time. As well as against crew loss. They're excellent shots. They are very good at controlling their damage. I think we're going to have to try and snowball this thing into the ground. Which means... Focus all your firepower on one ship. And thereby hope that you're able to take it down. Then the enemy is going to lose 20% of their firepower. See, this is definitely helpful. This thing is down. Now the enemy has lost some firepower. And I still have something that looks like five battleships left. You do need to sink the Constante. Preferably before it sinks on top of you. Okay, good. Now we're going to target the Victoria. It's a bit unfortunate that my battleships don't have torpedoes on them. But these boys do. How many? Eight. Very nice. 
One of my battleships is down. That's the Gavril. The Sila is potentially next. Repeater boats, this way, please. Light cruisers coming under some pressure from the enemy torpedo boats. Put some pressure back on them. Oh, they're also coming under pressure from the enemy battleships. The Carlos and the Lanfranco. And here's the San Felipe Apostol, the next one. Great. So they're all over the place. Uh, torpedo boats. Can you try not ramming my ship? Perhaps. Shall we not do that? Because that's not good for my health. You're already pretty screwed, but I'm not. 100% chance to hit. 14% <laughs> crew lost. What are you even trying to target? Oh, you're targeting this thing in the back. Okay. I think that... <laughs> the wreck of the Gavril over here is kind of saving the Nachalo. Also, we're getting torpedoed and I think they're duds. You're empty. You are still packing torps. Yeah, that's full rudder to port. The whole thing is turning into a bit of a mess. Uh, target this. Hard to starboard. We're going to torpedo attack the San Felipe. Torpedo... What? Oh, you're targeting the Sila. Did you just take a torp or what? Are they somewhere in your wake? Because they were coming in. I think you dodged them? Or they were both duds? I'm not even sure what's happening anymore. This is such a mess of a fight. Torpedo boats. Uh, pay attention. We're going to launch a torpedo attack against this battleship. The enemy torpedo boats are largely harmless because they don't have any firepower left. Victoria needs to go down. Preferably now. Heavy cruisers are going to be here in a few minutes. That's another 4.5k damage. I need you to target this. Light cruiser sinks. This is an absolute disaster of fleet management. Stop changing formations. Victoria is down. Good. That's the second ship we have been able to eliminate. Uh, you guys sent four torps at the enemy battleship. That's already badly damaged, so that ought to put them out of their misery. Now we're going to charge the next. That's good damage. Yep, ammo detonation as well. Their five inches are out of commission. Good. Very good. Um, split the division. You're going to target this. You're going to target this if you still have some firepower left. You're going to come into this battleship as a distraction. The light cruisers here... I don't know. Try and torpedo the trailing uh, Lanfranco. There goes the Butakov. That's the, the sh no. That's the lead. Used to be lead light cruiser. I have to be careful torpedoing the San Carlos because I still have targets in the back, which are very much working their way through the Victoria through a ram. Oh come on! Thank you. That's three of their battleships down. Um, yes. I'm going to send in the Abo extremely close to the San Carlos so that it cannot miss. You're going to be targeting the next battleship. Actually, no. You're going to be going for the Lanfranco. You're going to also ram the Lanfranco because nowhere did it say I need to keep my own ships alive. And then, hopefully, I send so many torpedoes into this one target... That there will no be, there, there won't be any torpedoes that actually move past the target. So I don't have to worry about dodging my own torpedoes. That's the plan. And it looks like these are gonna all hit. That should give them quite a lot to worry about. There it is. 
Yeah, ammo detonation on top of that. They got no shells left for the 12 inch. You're going to target the Lanfranco. Torpedoes are away two by two. So close to Lanfranco that nothing will sail past that. And that's disastrous damage for them. And they, too, lost their ammunition. Very good. Okay, let's see if we can kind of... ...recombobulate all these torpedo boats into one group. I just need to finish off these ships now. Good thing the heavy cruisers are coming back. Eventually. This whole thing is turning into this massive brawl. There goes another battleship. That leaves one of them alive. Everybody pry of that thing. That has to get taken out because that is worth 10 points. That's a nice kill. <clears throat> That's worth 10 points. If I get this, I get a perfect 50 points. It's taken me quite a while. But I will be able to get 50 points. It's just going to be a question of when. Pretty much now. Done. So now we're just wrapping up with a couple of kills on torpedo boats. Which should be going very quickly because they cannot hold anything. They got no armor. Torpedo boats never do. There goes one. Two. Can you not? That definitely came out of the Julienne. Come on. A bit more. Torque eliminated. Beautiful. Well done. But seriously, what a mess of a battle this was. Apologies for the uh, mismanagement of fleet assets. I should have done that better. Still, I was able to sink my own battleships using fairly subpar ships. Uh, damage dealt came out of the battleships. <clears throat> but they probably did a lot of damage to lighter ships with a lot of high explosive. And as such, I'm not so sure you can actually trust that really high damage number. I mean, yeah, it's okay. But what actually did the damage? I think it was the torpedo boats, because they were the ones with the torpedoes that knocked out the battleships. And that caused the whole fleet to start collapsing. Still, hope you guys enjoyed the battle. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon for more videos.